welcome back to Steve Rob Reviews. As you can see, I have the lawn tractor up here, and this lawn tractor weighs roughly 600 pounds. I've got it on the lift. And one thing I noticed before I take this tractor up north to my place in Northern Ontario, I have to have locations to tie this down on my trailer. If you've never seen my custom built trailer, I'll put a link down below so you can see exactly why I have to modify this particular uh, tractor to fit my trailer is so you could have particular tie downs. You really have to tie down your lawn tractor in four specific spots, at least two in the back and two in the front or on the sides. And what I like to do is have my tractor all the way up to the front. If you take a look at my trailer, you can see it's all wood in the front. I make sure it's pressed right up against the front, then I tie it down. Well, I looked on this tractor. There's no spots to really tie it down securely, so I'll put my own in. You guys take a look, see what I'm doing. Well, this will give you a better idea exactly where that particular location is that I used for them uh, hold downs. And as you can see here, just imagine on your trailer, you hook one hook up to there, it comes over, and it extends out to here to keep the load and the tractor towards the front of your trailer. So that's an ideal spot because there's nowhere on this to hook onto. And I'll show you the other side where that looks. Well, there's the other side, and it's just a carbon copy you know you can just come out here and the tie down will come to your trailer and of course it will keep the load in the right uh, position because I like to have my piece of equipment right up to the front of my trailer so it cannot move so let's move down to the back of the uh, lawn tractor and see how I'm going to transport that with the uh, connection it has right there now well here we are at the back of the tractor. This is the hole that they usually just have to put a, you know, like a 1 and 7 8 ball in there. But as you can see that's all I'm going to do is just put a couple of ratchet straps in there like that. One hooking off to the other, one going to this side of the trailer, one going to this side of the trailer. And that should be it there. And that should secure the load pretty good. Okay, that's pretty much it right there. And you could see, like I tried to hold on to it without using these particular, you know, soft grip pliers and you could see right here how they're really gripping on good well you try it with your hands and you, a quarter inch rivet nah you ain't going to be able to you know to snap that mandrel you know to come out and if you want to know exactly what the rivet looked like that i actually put in is uh this is it right here and i have a washer on the back side there to hold it in and that's all you really need I don't have really access to the back there very good. I didn't want to put a nut and a bolt because I tell you what, a quarter inch nut and bolt in there is probably not going to be as strong as this rivet. So thanks for joining me here today and you know what? When you're hauling a piece of equipment up on the highways today, you got to make sure that it's all fastened down good. You got good locations to actually 
you know, make sure that it's not going to go nowhere in the case of an accident. Last thing you need is to blow out a tire or get into a little bit of an accident and the thing comes flying right out of the trailer. Well, you're liable. So thanks for joining me here today. And Now these particular location spots that I had there, well, a little bit of a fluke. What's the odds it would match up like that? And all I did was butter it with some uh, lithium grease on the backside before I tighten it up. That way there, it doesn't rust so easily. You guys take care. Come back again. If you haven't seen this channel before, well, you're welcome to subscribe. Cheers.